distance formula. Given the two points x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, the distance d between these two points is given by the formula d, representing the distance, is equal to the square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 quantity squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 quantity squared. So this is the formula that we are to use whenever that we are asked to determine the distance between two given points. So let's have a couple of examples. Find the distance between negative 1, 6 and 5, negative 2. So the first ordered pair are the one to be considered as x sub 1 and y sub 1, while the second ordered pairs are to be considered as x sub 2 and y sub 2. There will be times that we will be interchanging the values of each, so it doesn't matter, you will still get the same value. But of course, usually, what is being considered as x sub 1 and y sub 1 are the first set of ordered pairs, while x sub 2 and y sub 2 are the second set of ordered pairs. So let us now go on to what we need to find out. So let us find now the distance. So we are to use the formula. D equals the square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 quantity squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 quantity squared. So first thing, we substitute the, the value that we do have on our problem. So for x sub 1 and x sub 2, we do have negative 1 and 5. While for y sub 1 and y sub 2, we do have 6 and negative 2. Thus, we do have now d is equal to the square root of negative 1 minus 5 quantity squared plus x, rather 6 minus negative 2 quantity squared. So we are to simplify first the terms inside our quantity. So here we do have negative 1 minus 5. So this will result to negative 6. While for this area, 6 minus negative 2. So this will give us 8. Thus, our equation now will be d is equal to the square root of negative 6 quantity squared plus 8 quantity squared. So next thing, we simplify these exponential terms. Negative 6 times negative 6 will give us 36. While on this part, 8 squared means 8 times 8. It will give us 64. So what we do have now on our next solution will be d equals the square root of 36 plus 64. So next thing, we now combine these two terms. So 36 plus 64, so that gives us 100. So we do have now d is equal to the square root of 100. So the last thing that we are to do is to get the square root of 100. Therefore, the distance between negative 1, 6, and 5, negative 2 is just only 10 units. Let's have another example. Find the distance between 0, negative 3, and 4, 7. Again, the first set of order, we are the one to be considered as x sub 1 and y sub 1, and the second set will be considered as x sub 2 and y sub 2. So using the formula, since we are asked to find the distance, again, we first substitute the data from our problem to our formula. So x sub 1 and x sub 2 first, so we do have 0 and 4, while for y sub 1 and y sub 2, we do have negative 3 and 7. Rewriting our equation, we do have d is equal to 0 minus 4 quantity squared plus negative 3 minus 7 quantity squared. So just like what we had on the first example, so we first simplify the terms inside our quantity after doing substitution. So 0 minus 4 give us negative 4, while negative 3 minus negative 7 gives us negative 10. So we do have now d is equal to the square root of negative 4 quantity squared plus 10 squared. So negative 4 times negative 4 gives us 16, while 10 times 10 gives us 100. So our next solution will be D equals 16 plus 100. So next, we combine these two terms inside our radical sign. So we do have now D equals the square root of 116. So next, we get the square root of 116, but since this one is not a perfect square, and we can do factoring, so we must first factor this one. So the factors for 116 are the numbers 4 and 29. Keep in mind that whenever that we are factoring a term inside a radical, so make, make sure that one of the terms is a perfect square. So just like this one, it is number 4 that is a perfect square. So next is we get the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2, that's the distance should be written as 2 the square root of 2 and other 2 and square root of 29 units or approximately 
if we're going to have the decimal value of this, so the distance is approximately 10.77 units. Next example. So this time, let us apply this in real life problem. So for example, we are dealing with this one. So these are the famous landmarks in Tansa, Cavite. So one of the town in Cavite in the Philippines. Okay, so here we do have McDonald's, Jollibee, Super Mall, SM, one of the famous schools in Tansa, which is TNCHS. We do have Pure Gold, Chow King, and we do have the Family Hang Bay of Tansa. So let us determine the distance between, for example, McDonald's, which is the coordinates 5, 3, and Jollibee, which is the coordinates 3, negative 3. So what could be the distance? Keep in mind the formula that we are to use. Next thing, we substitute the value for each. So, first is the values for our abscissa or our x-coordinate, which are the numbers 5 and 3. Next are the values for our ordinate or the y-coordinate, which are the numbers 3 and negative 3. Writing our equation, so we do have here d equals to the square root of 5 minus 3 quantity squared plus 3 minus negative 3 quantity squared. Simplifying 5 minus 3, so this will give us 2. While 3 negative 3 minus negative 3 will give us positive 6. So here we do have now d is equal to the square root of 2 raised to 2 plus 6 raised to 2. So 2 squared means 4, while 6 squared means 36. So we do have here now d is equal to 4 plus 36. So getting the sum of these two, this will give us now d is equal to the square root of 40. So, we don't have an exact value for the square root of 40. So, therefore, we must proceed to factoring since it is possible to this case. So, the factors of 40 are the numbers 4 and 10. So, 4 is one of those perfect squares. So, therefore, we may now conclude that the distance is said to be 2 square root of 10 units. Or, in decimal, we can have approximately 6.32 units. Another one. So how about dealing with the distance between TNCHS, which is the coordinates negative 7, negative 6, and SM, which is the coordinates 8, negative 6. Using the formula again for distance, first substitute the data. So we do have negative 7 and 8 for our x values and negative 6, negative 6 for our y values. Writing our equation, so we do have here now d or distance is equal to the square root of negative 7 minus 8 quantity squared plus negative 6 minus negative 6 quantity squared. So simplifying negative 7 minus 8 giving us negative 15 while negative 6 minus negative 6 will give us 0. So therefore, we do have now d is equal to the square root of negative 15 quantity squared plus 0 squared. So, negative 15 times negative 15, simplifying this part. So, this will give us 225, while this one will give us 0. So, we do have now here D equals 225 plus 0. Of course, D is equals to 225. So, the square root of 225 is 15. So, therefore, the distance between TNCHS and supermarket or other SM is 15 units. Let's have plus example. I hope you are already getting how to so let us now determine the distance between Roya Star, which is the coordinate 0, 4, as well as Pure Gold, which is the coordinates negative 4, negative 1. So of course, since we are asked to find the distance, we are to use the formula D is equal to the square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 quantity squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 quantity squared. So, first things first, we, just, we first substitute the values that we do have. So, first thing will be coming from our x values, which are, which are the number 0, negative 4. And for our y, we do have 4 and negative 1. Then, we will rewrite our equation. So, d is equal to the square root of 0, minus negative 4, quantity squared, plus 4, minus negative 1, quantity squared, simplifying 0. Minus negative 4, so this gives us positive 4. Well, on this part, 4 minus negative 1, this gives us positive 5. So, D now is equal to, to, to 4 quantity squared plus 5 quantity squared. Simplifying 4 squared, which gives us 16. 
and 5 squared which gives us 25. So D now is equal to the square root of 16 plus 25. So combining these two, 16 plus 25, the answer is 41. So the square root of 41 can already be our distance between the royal star and pure gold because we cannot further simplify square root of 41 because it has no possible factors to work in one of those is a perfect square. Or if you want to have the decimal values for this one, so approximately, we may now state that the distance is said to be 6.40 units. So hope you understand now how to use the distance formula in finding the distance between two given points, mostly of course in the Cartesian coordinate plane. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. See you next time.